Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome to the show right now my surprise guest all the way from New York City. You guys have seen her all over YouTube. You know her from uh, various functions. Uh, Jack has made her the butt of his jokes. I happen to think she's a wonderful person, and I want to welcome at this time the one and the only Miss Gina Gospel to the Tom Blumenthal Show. Gina, welcome to the show. Hello, how are you? Hi there, Gina. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm finding yourself. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, it's so great of you to join us. Say hello to my other co-partner uh, in crime, Miss Aviant. Um, Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm great. That's a lovely name. Is it the last name Gospel? Yes. <laughs> Praise him, baby. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gina, we've been waiting on you to come on for so long, and uh, I'm so glad to hear. Uh, everybody's talking about how you turned foot in eyewear at the Till Death Do Us Park Ball this weekend. Uh, uh -huh. but I had never been to um, I've been to um, to Virginia and stuff, but I had never been to Richmond until I saw Ball in Virginia. So I seen they was having and the person that was having it, Alexis and. And so she always wanted me to come down there to um, Richmond. So I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to come down to Richmond. And, and I see they had the category. So I said, I might as well surprise them and bring them, bring something, something through. And, and I gagged whatever so I, um, I won. <laughs> yes, we all gagged. Well, Gina, uh, we, we, I mean, you've really been trying to step it up lately with, with your foot game and your, your, your fashion and stuff. Um, uh, tell us about it. Um, you know, I always, like, a long time ago, I always wanted to, to walk and stuff. Like, um, so I got tired of voguing and playing around and stuff. But I was, my uncles and everybody was telling me, girl, you're too, you're too big to be falling on the floor and rolling on, rolling around and all that. I said, oh, okay. So I tried to find something else. So when I have found um, um, hot wear footwear, this was a while ago, a couple of years ago, and then I had um, walked um, head to toe labels. And so when I had walked in Atlanta a couple um, a couple of years ago, or whatever, and then I had walked for an hour and so before at another walk, I don't remember where it was at, and then. Someone had asked me before to, um, to get my stuff, but I was saying I'm tired of people helping me or whatever, or got to get stuff back to somebody else. I mean, free this and stuff. I'm going to purchase my own stuff with my own money, my own change, whatever. And then I started walking hot with footwear, and then I had got it of the year and stuff last year. So... And I said, oh, no, I'm going to start walking foot and eyewear now and stuff. And I had walked it or whatever, so I was I was surprised or whatever. Well, Gina, Gina, let me ask you this question because I'm I'm sure everybody wants to know. You know, we're so used to seeing you play around with the voguing and not really doing a good job at it, and everybody reads you. But, I mean, you're really stepping it up with this whole uh, foot and eyewear thing. I mean, you really want to be, a, like, a top contender with it? Um, yeah. So I'm not playing. I'm not playing around this. Um, this year, so I'm not playing around. Is there, is there anybody in particular that you want to serve and get that bitch? Uh, um, yeah. So I mean, even though it's my sis, my um, my sisters and my friends and stuff. I mean, um, Brittany, Brittany, Ebony and stuff. I mean, I'm caught out or whatever. And um. Um, Charlize, um, Chanel, and, um, and, um, that's for all of what else the, the other girls with us so is all right, and so I just want, I want them, I want them too. Okay, well, Gina, can we expect to see you in a house anytime soon, or are you going to see a free agent and be Gina Gospel? No, I'm just, I'm just Gina Gospel or whatever, so I don't need to... The house is, just, I mean, there's too many confusions or whatever. I could have been in the house a long time ago and stuff, but I just like just, just being me with a Gina Gospel stuff. I mean, 
I'm a really a mother of every house for them, so they, all the houses, so the house fathers, house mothers, they know me, so I don't really need to be in the house. I mean, I'm just, just Gina. <laughs> right. Hey, Gina, another question. Um, how did you get the name Gina Gospel? Because I, mean, I know you're known for doing your gospel numbers. Is that how you got that name? Um, yes, I got, um, I got my name because I was, um, First of all, you know, I was raised, I was raised up in church, whatever and stuff, um, ever since I was younger. And then when I came out and stuff into the, um, and I do shows also, whatever and stuff, I do, um, like, um, the lip sync shows, whatever and stuff, and I was really known for doing gospel music. And I had just, um, thought of that name, it was from Gina. It was, it was Gina Divine when, at first. And then after that, I said, um, I said, I'm not going to make the Gina gospel because I was always, every ball I was at or every ball I performed at, I was mainly doing um, gospel music or whatever. So that's where I got my name from and stuff, Gina gospel. Okay, Gina. Um, Gina, I have a few people on the phone that may want to talk to you, but I do have a question for you. How do you feel? being like this super YouTube star. You're all over YouTube, thanks to Jack. How do you feel about that? No, it's, it's, some, it's something else or whatever. So it's, um, it's just funny, hilarious, funny to me or whatever. Because I didn't know, I knew I was on YouTube and stuff, but I didn't know when I had looked how many like response and how many hits or whatever that I had gotten up on YouTube or whatever. Because you know, there's always girls and stuff that don't um, don't like you or whatever and stuff. But I was surprised too. So there was a lot of girls on me and stuff responding back saying that they they um they live to me and stuff. And I'm a sweet person. I'm a nice person. Don't mess with her and all that and stuff. And when I had looked at it, I outweighed it. It was more more good response than some of the girls that was reading or whatever. So I mean, I was just I was just surprised. Okay. Hey, um, Gina, let me um, take a couple of phone calls for you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, my very special guest, my surprise guest tonight from New York City, Gina Gospel, the one and the only, the YouTube star herself. Also on the phone is Aviance from D.C. What's up, Ms. Aviance? Yes, and I was thinking about Gina. You know, I want to encourage her to keep serving and turning that foot in the eyewear, baby. Because even in the Bible, it says, how beautiful are the feet of them that love the Lord. So, you know, oh, you yeah. got to start somewhere, baby. And if Jesus takes you seriously, your children oh, will eventually. Yes, they will. Uh, Gina, let's take a couple of phone calls, and then I'll come back and ask you some more questions. But I have a caller from New York City on the phone line. The 347 number, you're live with Tom. Now that, that was just so rude. A caller from the 216 area code. You're live on the air with Tom Blumenthal. Go ahead. Hey, what up, Tom? What's going on? It's meaty. Welcome to the show. What's good? How you doing? I'm doing great. Let me give you a light beat. I know you like to play with Oway a little bit. <laughs> what's what's, what's on your mind? Uh, <laughs> no, I was just... I was just calling in. I knew I couldn't talk about last night, but, uh, you know, I'm chilling now. So, how you doing, Aviaris? How you doing, Gina? Doing good, meaty. Cool, cool. <laughs> what's the, ain't no topic tonight. Excuse me? What's the topic tonight? Well, tonight we're gonna, we're talking to Gina right now, and then at 10 o'clock, Michi LaCroix is going to call in, and we're going to talk about uh, Big oh, Head, Big uh, Eagle. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I already know what that's about. Well, um, wait, wait, wait. I didn't say what it's about yet. You say egos. Yeah. What 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 do you think I'm talking oh, about? Okay. I, I thought you was going back to last night. I no, we're not. No, no, no. We we let that go. We're not going to go oh. back to the children. That's but anyway, up. we're going to talk about big heads and big egos and how they get pumped up by the scene and then how quickly they deflate and fall back to earth. Oh, okay. So you know you may want to call and chime in on that if you can think of anybody in particular that you want to you know uh, highlight. Okay. But I'm All so right, thrilled well, to have you with. I'm so thrilled to have you with us tonight. Oh, that's cool. No problem. Yeah. Anything else on your mind before we let you go? No, that's it. I go back to listening. We're well, not listening. Okay. But, you know, I'm on the computer, so. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'll let y'all right. later. Bye, Gina. Nice to meet you. Bye, Vian. Thank you. Bye, nice baby. To meet, nice to meet you. So, Gina, uh, do you get stopped on the street by people who recognize you from YouTube? 
Um, who is it, Avian? This is Tom. Oh, Tom. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, all the time with us. So people that don't even, um, that don't even know me and stuff, and they, had, and they happen to just see me at, I mean, at a function that they've never been to or just in a store or wherever I go, whatever. So they said, I'm sorry, I mean, but, I mean, you really don't know me and whatever and stuff, but I see you all the time or whatever and stuff on YouTube, and I live for you, whatever and stuff, and it's nice to meet you, and they give me a hug and all that and stuff, and I, I just tell them thank you, God bless you. Uh -huh. What do you think about the kids that try to read you and try to make you out to be the joke? No, it doesn't bother you at all? No, no, no. It really doesn't matter with, um, when, when they go through all that and stuff because I always, I always say with us, so the same people that you see going up is the same people you see going down. First of all, I mean, all the reads and stuff that they do, whatever and stuff, I mean, I don't ask nobody for anything. I don't ask nobody to pay my way. I don't, I don't sell myself and all that and stuff. So, I mean, I just, um, I just take it one day at a time or whatever and stuff. That's why, I mean, that's why a lot of girls that don't like me, then there's a lot that, I mean, that lift me and stuff. But the ones that don't like me, I mean, just keep on, keep on pressing and keep on um, going forth. <laughs> okay, that sounds hot. Let me but take Gina, another you call. Have a... Go ahead. I was going to say that Gina has a very humble disposition and very very meek spirit and that's fantastic what do you think uh gina about this ego thing how do you keep your ego in check you know with getting so much attention and validation how do you sort that out and keep yourself humble and meek like you are tonight um like i said earlier and stuff like i mean you know i was raised in church and all that and so, so i just keep on um i continue to pray and um and ask God to continue to um guide me my God my footsteps and uh, um to guide my um my mouth and all that. So um God he keeps me under suggestion and I just take to live one day at a time or whatever. So I think thank God for his grace and his mercy that continues for me to um to still go on. All right, wow. that sounds excellent. And you know we all need his grace and yeah 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 yes. let me take another phone. i don't know why somebody's trying to call me right now when they know i'm on the show let me take another phone call um caller from the 213 area code you're live with tom go ahead thank you hey uh miss avian and gina is the music a little too loud for you guys uh, i can hear you i can hear you okay Okay, good. I, I wanted to give you guys a light beat, but I didn't want it to be too loud. <laughs> so, Gina, what, what, what's your next ball, Gina? What's the ball next for you? Um, I'll be, um, hopefully, I'll hope she's coming down to Atlanta um, this Sunday and stuff for um, Byron um, Malone um, to see the ball and stuff, but I'm not sure if I'm coming. But I'll be there at, um, at Eugene Valencia and um, Marquise Revlon the VH1 ball and stuff in Baltimore. Yeah. Okay. All right, you walking? Yes, I am. <laughs> word, word. Now tell us again what you had on on Saturday, because I like how you said that label, honey. You gave attitude. Miss <laughs> Aviat, you should have saw her. She gave attitude with those I labels she when, she, when she called it out, hon. Nina, tell us how you called it out again. What were you wearing? Um, the, like the, the, the category was um, for NI, we had, it was, um, it was, it was, it was calling for um to be um sensationally done or whatever. So um I um I had on thousand um first of all um Jack had asked me so what I had on and so so I told him I had on two thousand and eight um spring summer um my glasses was which was by Mew Mew or whatever two thousand and eight yeah and then my shoe was also 2008 spring summer which was by Mew Mew and it was from the teacup collection of Mew Mew. Okay, work. So you really gonna be turning it then. Yeah, she have to have the attitude to carry Mew Mew. Yes, um, huh, yes. I got something for them um, at the, um, the ball in um, Baltimore next week. 
Oh, you just heard it right here on on live on the Tom Blumenthal yes. show, Gina. Gina, <laughs> yes, honey. How you doing? Work, Gina. Let's take another phone call from a phone number uh, to two one four. Uh, well, they just text me to say they're just listening. Well, thank you so much. Um, well, Gina. Yes. I, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you down here uh, in Atlanta. You think you're going to give the girls a run for their money up down here? Um, I had did before, and so I don't recall. I mean, when I had walked um, last year and stuff for the um for the Balenciaga Ball, and so when I had walked head to toe labels and stuff, and then I was surprised, whatever. So I had went against um, Tyra Supreme, and so, you know, she's a legend a legendary and stuff in her labels or whatever stuff. So just to be on that stage with her and the battle with her and whatever, so that was being such, I mean, such a privilege. Uh, so you really get life off battling with the big names, even if you don't win. And see, that's the way it's supposed to be. You have fun, you go out there and enjoy it, and you keep yourself level-headed, and you just, you know, enjoy the moment. Just. Just battling the other big names, is, you know, it's like, I like that, too. Just being on stage with some of the big name people when you're walking, that's like really the uh, the highlight for most people, and even for me. I just get life off that. Uh-huh. Let me ask you this. Um, somebody just texted me. This person just texted me, and they obviously were not listening to the show because you answered this, but I'll ask it again. But who is it that you want to see on the floor? Any particular person you want to call out on the floor and battle that person? Um, like I said, it's so, I mean, I would like to see Brittany, um, Ebony or whatever. So even though I always let her know all the time or whatever, she, she is best, best dressed or whatever. That's her category or whatever. Best dressed. She's known for that and stuff, but, um, not foot and eyewear. So, um, I have wanted to see her for foot and eyewear and also, um, I always want to play around with my sister, um, Charlize, um, Chanel, Charlize Chanel. I want to see her or whatever and stuff, just to, to play around with her and stuff. And also, um, Cabbage or whatever, she always saying that she want, she want to, she want to turn me or whatever, how small her feet is, what size she wears, she could fit a, a small kind of shoe and all this. So, um, I always calling her out and stuff, but I, I guess she's, she's scared or whatever. Oh, she's scared. What? Uh, and stuff. Woo, the Zaviad? Yes. Well, yes, Gina, yes. I had a quick question for you, Gina. Now, yes. considering that you are a free agent and you're not associated with a house at this point, what is your selection process in terms of garments and things? I mean, we, we've kind of touched bases on this before on a previous show where someone was mentioning that they had friends in other countries and or associates that worked in specific stores that dialed them right up on the phone and told them, look, we got the latest whatever in line. Is that your process? Or how, what is your selection process before you go to a ball? Um, usually, um, I, like I said, I started doing like labels and um, for an hour a couple of years ago. So, I mean, I had friends or whatever stuff that um, that helped, that would help me out and all that and stuff. But I realized what other stuff later on in life or whatever and stuff, them same people and stuff, they, if you say something or whatever and stuff, they bring that back up in your face and stuff, how they lend you their garments and how they lend you this and that or whatever and stuff. Oh, Oh, bitch, excuse my expression. You have my pieces on, whatever, so how dear you and all that. And I realized and stuff, I mean, I don't need to, um, I thank God for um, them allowing me to use their pieces when I had to use them and stuff. But I was saying from now on and stuff, if I can't get it on my own or whatever, so I can't make the money and stuff hard enough to get the pieces and stuff, I'm not going to walk. But I mean, for now, I'm just trying to get myself together with myself and get my own stuff. So I have my own receipts and stuff, and it can go back to my house in my closet or in my basement or whatever. Oh, lovely feedback. <laughs> yes. You know what? Everybody, I'm going to stop and say this because everybody has been reading me today because I don't know what Jackie Washington Day is. Oh, <laughs> yes. I, 
I had somebody up on Yahoo. I was like, what is Jackie Washington? And they were just reading me because I, I guess I'm in a box. I don't know what People it is. People just died. They just fall dead on the Jackie Washington day. <laughs> Washing clothes. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, Gina, it has been a pleasure to have you um have you on. Yes. Uh I hope you'll come back on again. Yes, I will. You just I mean, I don't know. would you and she be on every, is you on every day? Uh Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday from nine to eleven. I will say so you just let me know. I, again you I have my number. You. I do want to ask you this one other question, though, that just came to mind. But um, people tend to call you the uh, Eunice Cleopatra of today. How do you feel about that comparison? Um, but so we all know, I mean, whoever don't know Eunice, whatever, so because um, she, when she used to come to the world, so she used to, years ago, so she used to just walk, she used to walk like, um, like runway, whatever, and stuff, and she made her name from coming coming to the balls, where so she really wasn't a ball walker and stuff, but by her being here all the time, whatever, and stuff. I mean, she made her name. She is, she is legendary. But do you have a whatever. do you have a problem? Do you have a problem with people comparing you to her? Um, to, to, to a certain extent, I have a problem, whatever, but um. But Eunice and stuff, I mean, she was out way before me, so, so by, by them saying that, whatever, so that's making making these um, legendary stuff, but, and then on the other half and stuff, but Eunice, she haven't never walked the categories I have walked, so she never walked labels or or foot and eyewear and all that and stuff, but on the other hand, like I said, and stuff, by the same Eunice, whatever, so she's been around a long time, and so... It's like they making her, making me, making me legendary or whatever. Oh, I mean, the girls that want to so I remind them of Eunice. I mean, they can keep on saying that with us so, because I want to be here a long time or whatever. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So you think you should be legendary? Um. Yeah. I, I mean, in time, whatever. So, like I said, I mean, I already know. I I'm already a star and stuff, I already made my name or whatever, so um, hopefully Jack, whatever and stuff, I mean, since he's doing all this stuff on YouTube and stuff, make, making me a, um, a star and all that and stuff, because I am a celebrity also and stuff on YouTube or in certain places, so I mean, it would be up to Jack and Andre and whoever else is on the committee and stuff to to make me right, 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 Gina, or whatever. Gina, Gina. I think a few more people may want to talk to you, so let me go to the phones and see uh, if somebody has a comment for you. Before I do that, though, I want to just remind everyone we're talking to Gina Gospel from New York City. Uh, you guys know her; she walks a few categories here and there. Most recently, she's been playing with foot and eyewear, and she won foot and eyewear at the Till Death Do Us Part Ball in Virginia this weekend. Um, Gina, let me go to the phone lines. T.O. and Scott is on the phone. T.O., do you have any comments or questions for Gina? Um, no. Hi, Gina. And hi, Tom. Oh. I'm just oh, okay. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Um, I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, I hope everybody can hear me okay on the computers because I'm getting some phone calls that people are saying they can't really hear that well. The, phone, the computer is crashing. The problem is it's a lot of people logging on, trying to log on to the show. So when everybody tries to log on at once, it, it, it crashes the, the website. What's going on? So let me go. To, I have another caller from an unknown phone number. Caller, you're live on the air with Tom Blumenthal. Go ahead, please. Just listening. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Gina, any other plans, any other categories you uh, may want to try? Maybe like Fim Queen Sex Siren or anything like that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So I just want to stick with... Um, Stick with fashion and stuff, categories or whatever. I mean, I do would like to, um, cause I'm not sure last year, so the latex ball, That's I had it. went out there for a um, you know, figure performance, and I had surprised myself that I got, I got tens across the board and stuff. I really vote and stuff is all, is on the DVD and is on YouTube too. So this year, whatever stuff, I'm trying to come back and stuff, um, just play around with the, female figure performance and stuff, but this time I'm going to have me a, um, 
um, a genie, a genie, whatever and stuff, and I want to go to, um, to, um, to one of the CDs or whatever. So I'm planning on really coming out for the latex ball. <laughs> okay. Well, we, uh, we'll be keeping an eye out for you and be looking out for you and hope to see you then. All right, Dana? Yes. I said I will be keeping an eye out for you, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And right, Avian, got, uh, yes. Yes, love and kisses, boo-boo. Oh.